Hey there, Louis Ecobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can view the attendance history for a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to view a Microsoft Teams meeting attendance history, what you want to do is you want to click into your calendar app in the Microsoft Teams desktop application, and then you want to go ahead and click into a meeting that has already been completed. So in this case, I'm going to click into this team meeting from earlier today, and you can just go ahead and double click on this. What this is going to do is this is going to actually bring you into the meeting invitation where you can view details of this meeting. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is the attendance report is available for download right here on the details tab. So if you wanted to actually download this in uh, an Excel file, you could go ahead and click on the download arrow and that's actually going to bring up that file for you to view. Now, if I go ahead and actually open that attendance file, what you're going to see here is that it is going to provide you with a meeting summary. This is going to display the total number of participants and you can see there were only two participants in my meeting. It will display the title, the start and the end time. Uh, and then it's going to go ahead and display each participant who attended the meeting. It'll display the time that they actually joined the meeting, the time that they left the meeting, the duration, their email, and their role. Now it's important to note that if an individual joins and then actually leaves the meeting, this line item for that individual will display the last uh, join and uh, departure from that meeting that uh, actually occurred. So you're not actually going to see multiple line items if somebody joins and leaves uh, multiple times or if they get disconnected, for example. So that's how to actually download the attendance report into an Excel file in case you need to um, you know, share that or distribute it out. Now, Microsoft also recently released a feature here uh, where you can actually view the attendance of this meeting uh, right in the actual Teams application. So to do that, you want to, again, from your meeting record, click on the attendance tab. And what this is going to do is this is going to give you the same view uh, just within the actual Teams application. So again, you can see here the summary, uh, two participants attended, the start and end time, the duration, uh, the average attendance time, and then you'll see the list of participants um, and the additional details displayed here. Now, a few notes about this particular view. Uh, first off, uh, what you'll notice here at the top is a little drop down menu. And if you click on this, this is actually going to show you the date and the time. So it's important to note that if you have a recurring meeting and you want to download uh, the attendance report for an instance of that recurring meeting, you want to use this drop down to select the appropriate date for which you want to download your attendance report. Now you'll notice here that I am showing two attendance reports for this particular meeting. So the reason that you're seeing this is because I actually joined this meeting at 342 and then ended it. And if I click on that, that's going to show you that I started this meeting at 336 and then ended it at 342. Uh, and if I click on 344, uh, again, you're going to see that I started this meeting at 342 and then ended it at 344. So even where you start and end a meeting, it's going to create an additional record um, here in this dropdown. Now that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to download the attendance report for a Microsoft Teams meeting that has completed. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.